Hi there, Nick Dutch here. I don't know how this video is going to work out. If it works out okay, I'll keep it and just upload it straight away. If it doesn't, then, you know, I, I just will delete it, I guess. But anyway, there's this person who's been uh, commenting on my page. And this one here says, The tranquility of life has always been mind, body, and soul. It has never not been like that. This is how the universe works. That's why we have three branches of government. And the word branches is spelled with an S in the middle. It should be a C, I think. Really should be a letter C. It has been like this since the beginning of time. If you were to deny this, you are denying every event in human history. Like 1066, Battle of Hastings, signing of the Magna Carta. Yeah, so if I deny that the universe is mind, body and soul, I'm denying the Magna Carta. Okay, Battle of Hastings, Waterloo, Trafalgar, Wars of Independence, mm, yes. Mm. The very first ever Thanksgiving dinner, you know. Then it says, arrogant fools, cowards, in fear with themselves, so ignorant to their spiritual infinities. Spiritual is spelt spirit, A-U-L. So actually it's spirit all. And there is spelt with the I and the E the wrong way around. I think you've got three branches of government as a result of history, legislation, policy, democracy, and following on a version of the British system. And the British system was not necessarily brought about because someone said there is a mind, a body, and a soul. Hmm? I mean, there's various times in history when new ideas developed you know Cromwell for instance you know he did some wonderful things to slowly bring about some changes which of course didn't happen in his lifetime it happened a heck of a lot afterwards but on the other hand think about it you know that society does not follow a pattern which has been described or defined by some kind of spiritual belief which you personally happen to have. Now if it was, then maybe life would be a lot easier. Maybe it wouldn't. It's difficult to say. But the fact of the matter is, history and politics is slightly more complex than you think it is. Come on!